but few bigger than on Easter Monday. Right from its inception as the brainchild of the then Hellenic president, Theo Mamaris, the club's backbone has been provided by the Greek community. So who better to help Hellas celebrate its 30th birthday, two days after Greek National Day, than Melbourne's other 30-year-old Greek club, Heidelberg Alexander. As a curtain raiser to the NSL match, some of the greats from the 70s rekindled the two clubs' famous rivalry. And while the waistlines might have increased and the hairlines receded, the competitiveness hadn't. Two current, well at the time anyway, league coaches had a chance to lock horns. Heidelberg's Jim Tansey and George Cross coach and former Blue, John Gardiner. Steve Walker was back in the middle of the Hellas defence, while up front was their most potent scoring force ever, Jim Armstrong, though he wasn't to find the net this day. Some of their Heidelberg opponents looked fit enough to help the club out of its current troubles. Jim Criaris was ever busy, and former Socceroo Jimmy Rooney had obviously been looking forward to the match for weeks. Fittingly, the game finished at one all, thanks to a gift penalty given to the birthday boys by a benevolent referee. Nothing was going to dampen the celebratory mood, and why not? In 30 years, Hellas has won seven state league titles and an equal number of state cups. And in 1984, Victoria's most successful and well-supported club won the National League title to confirm its reputation as one of Australia's greatest clubs. Truly something to sing and dance about. So it's Heidelberg in the gold and black, last place on the NSL table, kicking the match off. But places on the ladder really don't play too much precedence in a derby. There's something about this football that makes positions on the ladder immaterial. South Melbourne, in fact, find themselves in 12th place, one of the proudest clubs in the country on their 30th birthday. But uh, today there's a bit of pride at stake. The two big Greek giants of Melbourne football and it's South Melbourne, the home side, who have the breeze in this first half. Hellas going to the goal to your right. And there's a handball on Claude Lucchese. So for the first real time in the match, it's Hellas into attack. Healy giving it straight to Lucchese. He's giving it away. Tassios does well. And his first touch of uh, football back in the NSL Cup the other night after glandular fever. But on the break, Gutsoulis. And he wins the throw in for Heidelberg. Big crowd expecting a lot. Trying things on the left now. Costa Coglu. The Baying Hellas fans urge him on. Angie might go at it. Tried the side footer. And away by Douglas. South Melbourne fans really getting behind Angie Foster Coglu there to run up the defence. And the first corner of the match. Peter Salakis to take it. Just has to tee it up a little bit. Tony Doris on the near post looks over Wade's head. And they've lost possession. Fernandez with ball. Healy, as usual, pressing up. For the far post, Trimboli can nod it back. It's a corner. Off Canisoulis. See if they can make a little bit more of this and keep this pressure on the Heidelberg defence. Peter Salakis. In comes Blair. And it was off big Steve Blair's head. Good jump from Ulsalkis. Ball stays with the blue of South Melbourne Palace. As usual, Foster Coglu throws in from the left. Tassios, Peterson. Run from Healy over on the right. Foster Coglu's gone left. 
Trudenic just saw a little bit of the ball there. Got the boot in, but uh, no support for him. Oh, here's a go. Flicked in by Italia Doris. Well, he just couldn't get the elevation on it to flip it over the head. Oh, hearts are tripping us. And Kim on Talia Doris can't believe it. Oh, Trimboli gets the ball across. The drive just wide from Wade. Wade trying it from about 35 metres. Always going wide. Parts of Trippler seem to have it covered anyway. But with this breeze at your tail, well worth trying to keep her out from long range. That one was along the ground and uh, perhaps a little bit of elevation. And you never know what it might have done in the breeze. Deserves a word from the referee, and he's going to call over Alan Scott. It was unnecessary as well from Heidelberg's point of view, and he'll get his name in the book. Deliberate misconduct in that he handled the ball. So the free kick about 12 metres out from the Heidelberg penalty area. Foster Coglu again looks like the man to drive it. He's found the wall on every occasion so far from a similar position. Might be Salakis' turn. Peter Salakis, oh, what a goal! Beautiful strike from Peter Salakis, and he breaks the deadlock at 38 and a half minutes. What a memorable goal in a Greek derby. Scott, who gave away that free kick with that uh, silly handball. Well, stuff and staying down, but in the air. Well done by Blair, and he sets away Peterson. Oh, heaps of space, looking for some support on the left. Rain's got back there. Stubbins now for the Burgers, urged on by the uh, Golden Black supporters. Rains. Oh, all over Lucchese. This has gone for some other incident. Kick's going to uh, take place just outside the penalty area. Well, the Casey perhaps arching into his opponent. Now, from the dead ball, the pressure is right on Bruce McLaren. The blue wall being moved back another metre or two. The free kick being taken just outside the penalty area. Gutsoulis, number nine, edging forward. The wall not yet to referee Fraser's liking, position-wise. Driven by Scott, and it goes! It took the deflection, and it's one all after 42 minutes. Alan Scott scores in consecutive matches for Heidelberg. And he's the man that gave away the free kick that resulted in South Melbourne's goal, and he's levelled things. Paul Wade. Costa Coglu. Peterson on the left. Gets it back. Here's Costa Coglu. Oh, he's a goal. Talia Doris. And Kim Taliadoris, the simple opportunity for a metre and a half. Costa Coglu takes the cheer of the fans. Well, after 47 and a half minutes in the first half, it's 2-1 to South Melbourne. No, it is the throw-in. So no free kick on that occasion. Long ball from Foster Coglu. Oh, falls for Taliadoris, who's done brilliantly. Kim Taliadoris, great save, hearts at Trippinus. And away it goes from Wade. Well, that looks 
inside the sealer. Paul Wade puts South Melbourne 3-1 up. His first goal of the season. Hearts of Trippinus did brilliantly, but no way could he stop the second. Jimboli up forward. Static. Now it's Postacoglu on the overlap. The big left back crosses it in low. Chance for and put away by Trimboli. Wright couldn't do it, but Trimboli did on the turn, putting it inside the post, and it's all over. 4 1 to South Melbourne. With goals coming from Peter Salakis, a brilliant free kick, Jim Taliadoris, Paul Wade, and then Paul Trimboli putting it beyond doubt in the second half. And South Melbourne promised their fans better things from now on, but they've celebrated their 30th birthday in the best possible way here at Middle Park today.